Hey guys, welcome back to Give Your Hair a Kiss. I'm Kiss, and this is part one of three of Salon Chair Facelift. Yeah. Okay, so here's what's up. I've had this salon chair for about, I don't know, four years, um, and I like saved it from the trash of like my old salon and you know, when they got new chairs. So, Brought it home with me and just been using it, but it, it's just, it was just old. It was, it was done. <sighs> Vinyl was all ripped, it was disgusting. So I decided that I was going to reupholster it, even though I've never reupholstered anything ever, ever. So, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, took on that task, because you know how hard could it be, right? Yeah, okay. So, here in video one, we are going to do the disassembly of the chair. Let's get right into it. Okay, so first and foremost, you gotta unscrew all of the, uh, all of the pieces, the bits and pieces, so that I could get to the seat and the back. Um, thought I had the right tools, thought maybe, okay, screwdriver, no. Pliers, no. It was these weird hexagonal, little screws, so I had to go and grab this other kind of Allen wrench tool. Yeah. And just remove the whole chair bit from the base, um, which started off pretty smooth, but the salon chair is such an odd shape with, you know, the footrest and all that. It was, it was kind of hard to like get it in a position where I could unscrew all four of those little hexagonal pieces. So up under the chair like a mechanic, losing my mind with this thing. And of course, you know, I don't have a regular like workshop kind of space, so I'm just hanging out on the floor. <laughs> Breaking down a chair. This thing really gave me a hard time. It was so just, there it goes. Bam, all right, hold chair off. Ah, gross, gross. Who knows the last time that piece had been taken off to be clean. Same little hexagonal screws, same little Allen wrench tool. I'm gonna take off the armrest pieces so I can break the chair down into two pieces. Hello, kitty. I am joined by my cat. This is my cat. Moving on. Yes, well, no, unscrewing the, uh, oh no, I guess that's the bottom plate, isn't it? No, that's the armrest. Okay. So the, the metal bits are just kind of conjoined with this uh, little plastic piece. Oh God, it's so gross. So gross. And with the Lysol wipes, we are talking years and years of just hair and product just caked down into the uh, conjoining piece between the uh, arms and the base of the chair. So kind of had to clean as I went with this disassembly process, you know, just so I'm not handling all that gross old hair. Fight it off. She's come, yeah, great. So gross, look at all that gunk. Oh. Uh. But it's one of those parts of the chair you can't get to, to clean without taking it completely apart. So definitely took, oh God, and I had already forgotten which way it went. No, no, yep. Yeah, okay, okay, do a smart girl thing. Take a picture, ha <laughs> ha. So yeah, definitely took that into consideration as I was taking it apart, realizing these, these areas that, that's uh, just my cat running away. These areas where the hair just gets gunked up, you can't get to it. So, you know, I had to kind of work that into my design. Clean it out, of course, label right and left because I'm, I, this was, yeah, 
but it de I definitely, even though I labeled them, mix them up towards the end there. All right, now the base. So we're gonna go in with the Phillips heads, um, Phillips head, Phillips head attachment on the drill. And I do not realize I'm not in frame. Get in the frame. There you go, girl. There you go. There you go. There you go. And there was only three screws in there. Um, and it was then that I realized the random screw that I had found months earlier had fallen from the chair and that this would be another thing I needed to assess. Oh, so gross. Uh, in putting the chair back together and making it more stable. So much hair. Gross, gross. Okay, we got the bottom. Now, uh, I have no idea what's going on. Great, okay. Now we're gonna pry using this little uh, chisel kind of tool. Pry some of the uh, old staples up that's holding on that original vinyl. And go with the needle nose, you know, really trying to avoid an unsafe situation and getting stabbed by little staples as I'm trying to work with it. Also didn't want to like, you know, step on them or anything or cat, dog, whoever step on staples. So trying to keep them in that little cut as I work. And this proved to be really tedious. I had wanted to get a nice, just clean start on that, that wooden base. Oh man, this was, this was a little daunting. This was a little frustrating. It was about this point that I realized I was past the point of no return and had to commit to this now. Tear it off. Great. Trash. Ugh, look at those tears. Gross. Rip all that off. Yeah, would have liked to get all those little pieces, but it just got to the point where it was like, oh my god, all these staples. Over it. Over it. Yeah, that's as good as she's gonna get right there, so. Now, let's get to peeling off this old nasty foam. More little things that will stab me, work safely. was not paying very close attention to this frame, was I? Sorry guys, so sorry. All right, going with an exacto knife. Maybe that'll work better. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Nah, she's not doing the job. Bigger exacto knife, bigger tool. Really just needed to cut it away from the lip of that, uh, that wooden piece enough to get my Tiny little hands in there.
again, wanted to go for that nice, clean tear away, but gonna be done. Lots of old glue. Tear it all off. Let's take the top apart. So again, with the Phillips head, take all this apart, label it, left, right. And assess it. So the whole bottom bit had this zipper on it, but not a functioning zipper. <laughs> so it was like, all right, what is the best means of approach? I tried to pry it off. I decided to just go in and start cutting it off and ripping at it because it had this, this chair had clearly been hastily reupholstered at some point and it was just it was a Frankenstein kind of situation It was so weird the way it was stapled in there, on there, that is, in the, uh, the back piece. I just I could not get a good clean tear off of those, uh, those conjoining pieces. Okay, goof off, goof off. So just kind of saturated the uh, remnants of the foam, worked in small areas, uh, goof off, um, evaporates very quickly. So you, you, you kind of got to work fast and that's just a terry cloth towel. It's got some, you know, texture to it. So went over it, got all the foam bits off, and then I sat down and sanded it for a solid hour, and y'all don't need to see any of that. <laughs> so that is part one. This is taking the salon chair apart. Stay tuned for part two, the pattern making and cutting out of the vinyl it, and, and the foam. It was actually a pretty daunting task. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, thank you for joining me for part one of three of Salon Chair Facelift. If you like what you see, hit like, subscribe, stay tuned for the next two parts of Salon Chair Facelift. Follow me on social media, Facebook and Instagram, Give Your Hair a Kiss. Check out my products and exclusive offers at GiveYourHairAKiss.com. And until next time, guys, give your hair a kiss.